I'm Madeline Burke and thrilled to be joined by the Giants quarterback, Tommy DeVito. Tommy, three straight wins. This momentum has been catching fire. How much do you, as a guy from New Jersey who grew up watching the Giants, kind of feel the way that it's galvanized not just this team, but this fan base so much? Yeah, it's been a lot of fun. Uh, it's always fun when you're winning. So try to stay even keel through it all, but just enjoy the movement, the moments with my teammates. Even keel is, is the way I think everyone would describe you. You know, the highs, the lows, your post-game press conferences, you've just got such a steady hand, which, you know, as a rookie, that's something that some people say, well, it takes time to learn. You know, how would you describe how you've been able to keep yourself so steady? Yeah, I think just time. I mean, I've been playing the game for a little while now, since mm -hmm. I was five, so kind of built throughout the years throughout high school and then throughout college. So every year just learning more about the position and how to go about playing it from guys that I've been below in the past. Yeah, well, and you've kind of taken it upon yourself too to learn the position in unique ways. I mean, this season, throughout the season, you and head coach Brian Dable have been making time to, to get together each week, right? And go over some film and what's that process been like and how has that prepared you for the opportunity when it came for you to be the starter? Yeah, I think that just help us, helped us learn each other. Um, we're watching something, I get his perspective, he gets my perspective, and then we kind of have conversation about it. So, mm -hmm. in that way, we kind of get on the same page and just learn more about each other and what we're thinking in certain situations. What's been the most surprising thing that you've learned about Dave's? He's just a fun dude to be around. He's, he's an offensive mind, obviously, but you don't always see that when you're on the field or outside of like some of the meetings that we've had, just seeing him relaxed and just hanging out, just enjoying him. He's a, he's a really good person. Yeah, yeah. Now, I mean, and this entire coaching staff, you know, you've been working with them quite a bit. Does it feel like this offense has gotten more simplified to you? Do you feel more comfortable in it? How have you and your perception of the way that this Giants offense runs evolved? Yeah, I think it's evolved. Um, I think as coaches, their best interest is to play around your players' strengths. I think throughout the weeks we've done that. They've kind of gone back and we've gone through what I like, what I don't like. Um, just things that I've done in the past that I've been comfortable with. And they've done a great job, you know, building that around me and also around the rest of the guys in the field. Yeah. Now, since quarterback stats were first tracked, this was like back in 1950, there's only been one quarterback who's completed 80% of his passes, rushed for more than 70 yards, committed no turnovers, and taken no sacks. And that quarterback was you on Sunday. When you realize that you're doing things that, you know, haven't been done in this game before, do you feel that? I mean, you're named NFC Player of the Week after that performance. Do you take a moment to just say, wow, that's that's something special? Uh, not really, honestly. Kind of just another thing. Um, I'm really just focused on just playing, enjoying it, being in the moment, and not really worried about the outside as much. It's got to be helpful to playing behind the offensive line that you have that's been kind of consistent the last few weeks. I saw Dave's gave the game ball to the O-line um, after last week's win. How comfortable do you feel behind that group? Very. I think they've gotten better each and every week, and they're going to continue to get better and make strides, and I'm just going to continue to trust in them and make their life easier. Mm -hmm. Now, you're going up against the Saints team this week that's, you know, their pass defense is pretty tough. They allow the lowest passer rating in the NFL. When you're looking at this tape, when you're early evaluating this team, how are you preparing for them? Uh, we're really just focused on us. Yeah, we're playing against them, but at the same time, I think in the past, in the past few weeks, the only people that have stopped us is us, whether us making mistakes, just not executing certain things, so we're going to go out and just play our game of football. It seems like this team's having a lot of fun in the process, right? Stacking wins, but having fun, enjoying doing it. Um, you guys ran a flea flicker the other day, which was a lot of fun to see. What's, what's the joy level like in that locker room? It's fun. Um, I try to bring energy and excitement. I just... Like I said a million times, I try to enjoy it. I try to play it like I'm five years old. Mm -hmm. Obviously, there's a lot more in the line, bigger crowds, whole deal, but I just try to enjoy it and just try to bring that energy amongst the guys just to, you know, you're out there, have fun. Yeah. When you look at where you are right now, goals for the remaining part of the season, you know, four games left, you know, there's a lot of possibilities. How do you keep your focus? What keeps you grounded at this point? Uh, just focused on the week at hand. So right now I'm just... Focus on the Saints, that's it. Nothing more, nothing less. We'll just take it 1-0, and one week at a time. Well, thanks so much for taking the time to talk today. Giants quarterback Tommy DeVito.